okay guys. We're here in uh, Whole Foods. Let's get started with some foods, I'll be good. Veggies first. So pretty much any veggie um, is going to be good. We want to do veggies are a little more astringent and bitter in taste. So broccoli is great, carrots, fantastic, cabbage, celery, daikon radish, our favorite, kale, some chard, radish, this, lettuces, mustard greens here. That's going to be really good. It's a little pungency, right? Green bell peppers. Get a little bitter, get a little astringency in there too. Veggie shopping is going to be really easy. A bit of tomato too, a little of the um, acidity, a little bit of the pungency in there is going to be good. Moderation though. Lemons. I don't know where the limes are, but those are going to be really good. Again, creating a little bit of heat in the system. That's going to be a goal that we have in our kapha season. Um, unfortunately, not time for avocados. In terms of apples, um, we want our more green apples. We want our more uh, tart apples. Those are going to be really good. Not so much as sweet ones, so Granny Smith. Quite nice. Grapefruits. Good, good, good. <laughs> limes. Bananas, not so much, unless you like them a little bit, uh, a little green, but that's kind of disgusting. I don't think many people do that. If you're the one who likes that, then I'm sorry for insulting your like of unripe bananas. Pomegranate. Pomegranates are a beautiful astringent taste. They're going to be really quite nice in this time of year. Garlic. Onions. Garlic. Onions. All these are going to be really, really good this time of year. Uh, they're going to create some heat, they're going to create a little passion, they're going to get you excited. Not the best time for potatoes. Potatoes, too starchy, too building. We're in the meat section now, so I'm not much of a meat eater, so it's hard to say this from personal experience. In fact, I'm not a meat eater. But what I would recommend, easier to process meat. So chicken, fish is gonna be good too. Definitely not red meat, not this time of year. Sausage, probably not. Bacon, probably not. Pickles might be pretty good. In moderation, check that out. Fat beets. Mokra. Some solid puns right there. Beets, on a serious note, they're gonna be really quite nice for this time of year too. Try to get the real stuff. So Michael Pollan talks about avoiding the center of supermarkets, right? And I'm actually a big fan of that because a lot of it's gonna be processed stuff and um, things that aren't gonna be as nutritious as your outskirts, so your vegetables, your fruits, your freshly made products. So we'll avoid some of the stuff, but I did wanna make a note here. We have our oils here. This time of year, moderation is gonna be really, really key. So dry roasting when possible, and not too much actually. So we're in the frozen food aisle here. I'm gonna pretty much pass it on by. Obviously, I don't think it's a good time for frozen food, and I'm sorry, no, not this time of year. Not yet, the summer is soon. Summer is coming, I promise. What about things like butter? Ooh. What about things like butter and dairy this time of year? So that's going to be actually a pretty good question. We want to avoid too much dairy this time of year. Uh, again, all the same reasons. Too much uh, accumulation, too much uh, mass with it. It's too heavy, too moist. It's going to cause some congestion in our throats. There are a couple things that are going to be okay. So things that are going to be a little sour or things that are a little fermented. So in that case, let's see. So. A little bit of cottage cheese is going to be okay. People might disagree with this, but I do try to prefer 100% fat. Just the real, the real thing. You know, the way that it was, it was meant to be. Sour cream. I do like Whole Foods because you get so much, so many organic options there. So just splurge on food and save on some other things. Yogurt. Yogurt is actually going to be pretty good to sound here. We want the probiotics. We want uh, some of the life that we, you know, that we missed in Fata season in the winter. Of course, in moderation, too much dairy is going to be too heavy. Some yogurt uh, for breakfast, or maybe you start to make a uh, lassi, a little bit of black pepper, and yogurt is going to be great. The cheese, the samvir, as delicious as it is, might not be the best. Another salad grain to have the samvir, not too much. In moderation, you can definitely do quite nicely. But again, middle of the supermarket, not so much. Peanut butter, not so much as samvir, a little too, uh, too heavy. Here's a fun fact. Just when you start thinking that you can't eat anything fun this time of year, best time of year for coffee. So if you're drinking coffee, make sure 100% organic. Uh, it's a really dirty food when it's not organic, but have fun. Chocolate. In moderation, this time of year, it's fine. Chocolate, especially like a dark chocolate, is gonna be uh, bitter. It's gonna have a little bit of a kick with the caffeine. So 
coffee and chocolate this time of year. Pretty good, right? Fortunately, I'm not gonna say anything like cigarettes are gonna be good. That'll be too exciting, right? Wine, cigarettes, coffee, and chocolate. Black tea, great, great source of an astringent taste right there is black tea. Nettle tea, that's gonna be, or dandelion tea, these are gonna both be nice bitters to help draw out the toxins in our blood accumulated from the winter. Something like a ginger tea here, also gonna be great uh, in terms of creating a little bit of heat. Detox tea, those are gonna be great. Of course, things like the cold season teas, that's gonna be great. I mean, it's the cold season takes all the thought out of it, makes it easy. Uh, this is not a bad time of year actually to do a little bit of fasting. If for whatever reason you start to feel a little uh, backed up, something like this can help, but this time of year is not it's not really the guilty time for that. That's more of the uh, autumn. Coffee in moderation, of course. I don't, I don't want to empower you here <laughs> to start to chug, you know, seven cups a day. Nuts in moderation. Enjoy, enjoy your nuts in moderation. Good source of protein, but it also is a little bit fatty there too. So we have a few things here that are gonna be okay. We have millet down here uh, in terms of grain. That's a great option. Some quinoa. That's another good option. Again, garbanzo beans are good. Dried, dried fruit is a good option. It takes some of the bloat, some of the fluid qualities out of the fruit, which it's in coffee season, that's actually a time where we are gonna start to gain some fluids. We might put on a little bit of water weight, things like that, if we are having too much, as as it sounds, if we are overhydrating, if we are eating foods with a high water content. So dried fruit, we get the benefits of the fruit and the nutrients and the minerals and the vitamins and the yumminess of the fruit, but we don't get that water retention. So dried fruit, great option. You know, I got so excited before that you could have coffee that I completely missed. Two really important things are gonna be great for you to eat. For the most part, sweets this time of year, you're gonna wanna avoid. Sweet is the number one taste that's going to aggravate kapha, which we do not wanna do, we wanna mitigate kapha. But if you want a sweet, there's a sweet that's both delicious and well maybe not just both it's delicious it's going to be heating and it's going to be drying so it's going to be really great for battling kapha and that sweet there is called honey please avoid uh, baking your honey because then it becomes something totally different and the last thing that i will tell you to eat is there are spices pretty much any spice this time of year is going to be great wonderful digestive aid wonderful way of making food taste a lot better, especially, I'm not even gonna say blander foods. It's actually a time of year where you have a lot of taste and a lot of flavor and a lot of, you want some of that rajas in your food, you want some of that passion. So you get to throw on things like cayenne pepper, black peppercorns, mixed with turmeric. Your curcumin absorption rises up, I believe like the statistics of like a thousand percent. Cinnamon, wonderful. Uh, even something like dill, a little bit, a dill and fennel, a little cooling even still fine. Ginger, ginger and turmeric, two incredible, incredible spices to have this time of year. Both are going to be heating. Both of them are going to be very, very purifying. Mustard seed, some cardamom. Yeah, so go go to town and have some fun with with all these things. It's a fun time to cook. It's a fun, it's a fun time to eat. And you can make foods really, really flavorful. Like really savory, a little, you know, spicy, pungent and play with the bitters. You know, a lot of us are scared of them. We don't get nearly enough in our diets. Uh, we're so used to salt and sugar in our processed foods, which we don't really need. And if you have your bitters, if you have your astringent taste, if you have your pungency, you're gonna notice that you feel really, really fantastic. And I like how I'm saying this standing in the cake section. I should probably flip around. There we go, dried fruit again. So have fun guys, explore. Uh, we'll have a, a conversation about this topic on our Ayurveda NJ. Facebook group soon and on our website and via consultations. So I'll see you guys later and enjoy cooking. Let me know how it goes. Be well. I thank you so much for watching our video on shopping in the kapha season. So if you'd like to watch our previous Ayurveda NJ video, we talked about cravings, which might be really, really useful this time of year as you're craving some cake, uh, which you do not need to eat this time of year. Hold out. Oh no, you got the strength. So we'll have a link for that up there somewhere. If you'd like to schedule a consultation with me, we could do that via Skype or in person and you know we can make sense of things like this, you know, all these different herbs, supplements, as well as what kind of diet's gonna be best for you, what kind of lifestyle is gonna be best for you. 
and we also will have some information about our 200 hour Ayurveda and healing training which will empower you to make those choices on your own and finally please subscribe to our channel we have fantastic content now and we'll have even better content later if you can if you can believe that have the best week of your life tell me all about it and i'll catch you next time adios